Okay, so how is everybody doing today? Thank you to everybody who made it yesterday. It was great fun. You guys told me you had fun. I had fun. We basically stayed up till midnight and just talked. It was it was great. Some socialization, you know? <laughs> but you guys have seen these videos, haven't you? And of course, I know a lot of YouTubers have already done this. I'm always late, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't matter. It's my turn to do this. And you guys are here watching this. So clearly you want it done. We're doing it. We're doing mixed reality and we're doing it on the Oculus Quest. I spent a lot of money on this video. I'm not going to lie to you, <laughs> but that doesn't matter as well because hopefully this works and hopefully we get something cool out of it because I just asked you guys on the Discord on whether I should start live streaming on the main channel, you know, enable all the super chats, all the good stuff in case you guys want to donate. And so far, the results have been overly positive. So you guys are currently saying yes. So make sure to tell me what you think about that in the comment section as well. But without further ado, let's begin. So I tried making a video on Oculus Quest Mixed Reality, and I had a really fun time putting up the green screen when you forget to power on the microphone. This is the extensive amount of space we have, okay? So it's not a lot, but we're going to make this work, okay? Don't worry about it. <sighs> and then after I was done putting up the green screen and I tried recording the software part, I realized that Live isn't actually available for download anymore for the Oculus Quest. I'm not giving up that easily because I put this thing up and that was really freaking hard. So instead, we're doing normal mixed reality, uh, sort of, because we're still doing it on the Oculus Quest. We're still doing it wirelessly, but instead we are going to use Steam VR. And I know that this is controversial because a lot of you don't have a computer to use Steam VR. And I'm really sorry for that. I did want to use the Quest, but currently the Live Oculus Quest is not available. So we're doing this through virtual desktop, let's go. Okay, so you guys can see me now. The connect is right here, pointing right at the green screen. I'm now I'm going to point the camera up and let's launch virtual desktop and see what happens. I am now in Steam VR. There is very little latency, okay? I'm not gonna say no latency. You guys always get super angry at me when I say no latency. There's very little latency, which is great because that is exactly what I need for this project. Okay, let's. First thing you will actually want to do is you want to go into Steam and you want to download Live, right? So we are going to do just that. I used to have it somewhere here in my library because I already had it. As you can see right here, you want to install Live. As you can see, Live is downloaded. So once the quest has been started up, let's launch Live. Let's see what happens. So let's just start it up right there. I am going to be using a Kinect as a camera. You will need something as a camera. So I am using my Kinect for that. Once you have Live active, I now have the Kinect standing up and pointing at the green screen. So that's a thing that's happening now. This room is now officially a massive mess. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click install Steam VR driver, just like that. And you'll need to restart Steam VR. Steam VR wasn't running for me to begin with, so boom. Okay, now I'm going to start up Virtual Desktop on the Oculus Quest, launch Steam VR, and everything should be running. And we'll see if that is the case. So now what you want to do is you want to click Launch Compositor, click Continue, and this should launch the Virtual Depth, the Live Compositor. And through the Live Compositor is where we are going to do, well, everything, all the setting up. So as you can see right here, we are going to select camera. So what you want to do is you want to click add camera. You want to select your camera right here. So I have an Xbox Connect, but I'm not going to select Xbox Connect because if I do that, it's going to set up a virtual green screen. So I just select virtual camera. I select my Connect here. You select the frame rate. And as you can see, you can actually see the camera already. So I am going to go into crop and flip right here. And I am going to crop it a little bit on the left so that it doesn't show the side there. And I'm going to crop it a tiny bit at the top as well so that that tape up there isn't visible. And I'm going to crop it to the right as well so that everything disappears. And now if I walk into the front of the screen there, you can see my hand. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, so, so far, so good. And now 
we go into calibration. This is the fun part. This is the part which I always had issues with. So we're going to click begin calibration. Do you want to calibrate in your headset or on your desktop? So I'm going to calibrate from my headset. So I'm going to put that on right now and click calibrate from headset. And now going back into VR, you can click begin calibration in VR. And now we quite literally just calibrate. So you need to get as close to the camera as possible and then do the same here. And now go over to the next cross, just like that. And to this cross here, like so. And as you can see now, I have the controllers. The position is, well, slightly off. So I can fix that by just turning the X uh, axis here just a tiny little bit. Uh, the Y positioning is slightly off. And now, look at that. that is just perfect. And I'm going to adjust the latency just a little bit. And look at that, at 114 milliseconds, which is quite a lot by the way, I think we basically have it down. It's still a little too fast, so I'm going to keep going. And now it's too slow. And now you see the controllers right here, so you click save calibration within the headset. And actually, you can see yourself right there in VR, there's a little camera that shows you, shows your controllers. So now we're gonna head back to the computer and trim this a little bit so that you can't see the signs. Okay, everybody, we actually seem to have gotten this working. I can see now in the live window that we do in fact have sabers and they are in fact showing up here in front of us. Uh, let's try and play something. Let's try do this. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is I need to die. I'm going to rotate the play space. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> this is certainly going to be interesting. Well, uh, certainly does seem to be working. What? Where's my... Left controller not found. <laughs> <laughs> Red controller is back. Let's go. Not my best performance, but certainly not my worst. This is this is the cool part about Live. It actually takes like the parts of you and like moves it behind and in front of your body. It's really cool. Three hours of continuous recording and four camera batteries later, because I am now on my fourth camera battery. We've done it. <sighs> And it wasn't hard and it wasn't bad at all. I was just being stupid. I did not know that I had to flip my camera. We're here, we're done. It works. And I do recommend doing this. If you have a green screen, that footage looks really cool. And I'm not gonna start throwing excuses to why I'm bad at Beat Saber. I'm just purely bad at Beat Saber. And that's it. <sighs> we did it guys. I hope you like this video. I uploaded this one today and it's a VR video because I didn't feel like the video I recorded yesterday was a true VR Friday video in a true like happy positive fashion because what happened yesterday was not positive at all. But today I decided, hey, look, we're going to do mixed reality. I've never done this properly, never actually properly succeeded at doing this. So 
here we are. And I am, in fact, successful at doing this this time. So if you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys want to become part of this community, we have a Discord server down in the description below. We also have a Reddit community, so make sure to join that. And I want you to see you posting your spicy memes on there. If you guys want to be notified of future content coming up daily, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you guys want to be notified of that, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.